let us now look at how do I structure ASO in a simple and easy to understand manner. For that, I want to track and understand the relative importance of different factors that influence ASO. For that, we have created a simple ASO wheel. It has the most impactful factors rated 5 and the least impactful factors rated 1. Some of these factors might be a surprise for all of you. But here you go. Within ASO, there are going to be two types of factors similar to SEO. One factor is an on-page ASO. Second factor is off-page ASO. Now, on-page refers to the page where the app has been listed. In this context, we are looking at two different app stores for now. One is the Apple App Store and second is the Google Play Store. Please note that at least in Android, there are multiple different app stores. Samsung has its own app store, MI has its own app store, OnePlus has its own app store, to name a few. You should look at the biggest app store first and then look at whatever is relevant for your specific country. The most important on-page ASO factor rated 5 is the app name itself. What are you writing as an app name? Let me take some examples. If you look at a site like booking.com, the app's booking.com name changes if you go and actually check the app name. For example, as on the given date, booking.com's name is booking.com travel deals. It means that they have optimized their website for travel deals as a keyword. Now, for example, DoorDash is called as DoorDash Dash Food Delivery. So it is clear that the biggest of the app developers try to put in the most important and well-searched keyword inside their app name itself. Now, this is a very important insight for all of you. On the app name, try to put in the most important and most searched keyword for your category. Next, when you come to off page, on off page, there are different factors like click through rate. Out of 100 people that visit your Play Store page, how many people actually download that? The next factor is download velocity, meaning per day, how many people are downloading your app in itself. The third factor is total downloads. What is the total number of downloads that you have? Next in the order of importance is the developer name. For example, all these developers of popular apps have customized names that help in increasing the app's discoverability. Developer of the popular app Programming Hub has named their company as Programming Hub itself. So it ensures that anyone who is searching for programming, even as a developer or as an app, this app comes on top. Another example is app keywords. What are the kind of keywords that you're using for the app? For example, in the case of Swiggy, which is a popular food delivery app, they have keywords like food delivery, dining, grocery delivery as important keywords mentioned on their page. The next factor on page is the app category. There are multiple different categories mentioned both on App Store as well as on Play Store. Choose your category wisely. Ideally, you should choose that category wherein your chances of breaking into the top 10 are higher. How do I do that? I would look at the top 10 apps in the category and see the kind of download velocity that they have. Based on the download velocity, then I would look at either listing in category A versus category B. For example, a lot of apparel apps can be listed as shopping or lifestyle. I would choose shopping or lifestyle depending on where is it easier for me and my company to break into the top 10. If you are in the top 10 rankings of top free or top paid or top grossing kind of category of rankings of apps, it helps your app to get organically discovered and your download velocity also goes up. So app category selection is equally important. On the off page front, you have app updates. How frequently does your app get updated? You have usage weights, meaning what is the average time spent per session inside your app? How many times in a month does your app get opened on an average? All these things that are tracked by Apple and Google also factor in when it comes to App Store optimization. Then there is discard rate as well. What is the kind of uninstall rate that your app has? Next on the off-page front, we have average user rating wherein users rate your app on a constant basis. If the user rating falls below a threshold, it leads to some amount of decay in your app store optimization. Next is the rating count, which is current as well as in all. That also plays a big role in terms of app store optimization. Now, 
As we go ahead to the factors rated one, we have app description as an on-page factor. A lot of us put a lot of work inside app description. Does it make a difference? Probably yes, but not to the extent we think. App description is great, but more than that, other factors weigh higher in my books. Off-page, there are multiple other things, geo signal. So for example, apps that are originating in a country will get higher weightage in that country. What is the kind of sales that they are making? What is the kind of backlinks the apps are getting? What are the reviews and what is the review quality? What are the social media rankings of the apps? What are the web clicks to the app store? All these factors are then available as an off-page indicator. Not so important though. These are the kind of factors and their relative importance from an app store optimization perspective. Are you now ready to make your app more productive? Tell us your tips and tricks in the comment section below and I would happily credit you with those contributions and add you as a future guest even inside our videos as well. Thank you.